Hello everyone, welcome to the Innovation Lab. In this video, we are going to do a quick experiment or test to see if it will be possible to drive a 48 volt DC electric motor using a DC to DC boost converter to step up a 12 volt battery. I got the idea to do this video uh, as I was going through some of my storage uh, looking for something a few days ago and I came across this DC uh, electric motor which is an e-bike motor that I used for a project a long time ago and then also uh, as I was looking at it I remembered that this is a question that a lot of people have asked me um, since I made some videos using this DC to DC boost converter so the question was if it would be, if it would be possible to step up a 12 volt battery to a 48 volt level so that we can use a 12 volt battery to drive a 48 volt DC motor using this um, DC to DC boost converter. So yeah, so in this video we're going to try that and see how, how clean of a drive that we can get using this method. All right, so before we get started, let's do an overview of what I have here in this setup. So as you can see, uh, going from over here, we have this 12 volt, 30 ampere hour lithium phosphate battery, that are the same battery that I've used for my other videos and projects. And here we have the DC to DC boost converter. So unfortunately, what I have now is the 1200 watt uh, model of the converter. And uh, we're gonna go from there to our 48 volt uh, brushless DC motor controller. So this motor controller is rated for a power output of 1800 watts and output current of 33 amps and obviously an output voltage uh, rating of 48 volts. So then from there, we're going to use that to drive this um, brushless DC motor, which is rated for 48 volts and uh, 1800 watts and this motor can go up to speed of 4500 rpm so and over here is a throttle that we're going to use once we have the setup we can go ahead and throttle it and see if it actually works so as you can see here we have a power digital power meter that we're going to be using to keep an eye on the power draw uh, going to it going to the motor so the first thing we are going to do, and as you can see, it's still set to 13.4 volts, which is not enough. So the first thing we're going to do here is to go ahead and adjust the settings, the output current, which is here, and voltage setting, which is here, of this DC to DC boost converter. So first of all, we want to make sure that we increase the output current all the way to the maximum point so that way we don't limit the performance of the DC motor so so I believe that's the maximum point you can hear the clicks when I get to that point so the next thing we are going to do is to adjust the output voltage here using this potentiometer here to the 48 volts so and as we do that we'll go ahead over here and we keep an eye on the digital meter as you can see so to see to make sure that we don't exceed 48 volts so as you can see the voltage is going up so we are now at 40 41 43 and 46.7 and 48 volts we back up a little bit and there you have it. So right now we have 48 volts um, ready and configured. So the next thing we're going to do will be to connect our motor controller and then try to drive the motor a little bit to see how, how clean of a drive that we're going to get out of this. All right, let's get to it.
and there you have it so as you have seen in this video we were able to convert the 12 volt source coming out of this lithium phosphate battery pack to a 48 volt voltage level that we use to drive this 1800 watt um, DC electric motor 1800 watts for the electric motor kind of translates to about 2.4 electrical horsepower for the DC motor but uh, one thing that I would like to mention as I also uh, pointed out in one of my uh, charger videos that I made with this DC to DC boost converters will be that these converters are limited uh, current limited uh, this version which is the 1200 watt version is limited to 20 amps so of input current and I think also of output current so what that means is if, if your plan is to drive you this DC electric motor depending on the power rating of your motor um, you will be only limited to about uh, if you're using a 12 volt you will be limited to 240 watts which translates to about 0.3 horsepower and if you use the 24 volts you will be getting about 480 watts so which is about 0.64 horsepower and if you go to 30, 36 volts you'll be getting about 720 watts which translates to about uh, 0.96 horsepower um, another alternative would be to use the 1800 watt uh, version of this uh, boost converter and with that one I believe it's rated for an output current limit of 30 amps so you may be able to get up to a thousand watts or um, 1.4 electrical horsepower to drive your DC motor so the last alternative for something like this would be to actually drive it with a 48 volt battery if you have a battery then you wouldn't have a need for the DC to DC boost converter all right my friends that's the testing in a nutshell i hope you had some fun watching this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and um, i will see you in the next video and hopefully in the future i'll be able to build something uh, maybe an, an actual e-bike with this uh, dc motor and the system because it has everything it has the motor it has a controller and it has a throttle everything that is needed to build a bike and uh, i also happen to have a, a bunch of battery packs here so if you would like to see some of that don't forget to subscribe to the innovation lab so that you will get notified when we make work on the, uh, such projects all right my friends see you in the next video